everybody and welcome to the neutrino weather of the week i'm going to share some of my own reflections on the neutrino weather you know? so basically how am i seeing this weather being reflected in my life and so the very first thing i wanted to share with you is that Last time I mentioned that there was this shift taking place of Pluto from the 21st gate into the 60th gate. And I was wondering, like, how, how do I see that in my life? And what I came to see all of a sudden after, like, in the last almost couple of weeks now, is like, yes, there was a period for about a month and a half where there was a clear feeling for a new experience for new horizons for new like okay life is is picking up again at some level or another and it's like okay like doors are opening up we're going into a certain direction and and since pluto went to the 60th gate all of a sudden i feel again like okay here are certain limitations that are there and um, dealing with those limitations, I mean, dealing, you know, it's like the acceptance of limitations is the first step on, um, in transcendence. You know, it's like the 60th gate for me is a, it's a very fine balance between, okay, these limitations are there and I'm here to accept them. And by accept, accepting them, I can work on them and transcend them and bring them to something new, especially I have the third gate in my design. So there is that, okay, it's certain difficulty at the beginning, but there is a mutation being possible. At the same time, you know, especially here through the sixth gate in this uh, 60th gate in the sixth line, becoming too rigid about it, becoming too dogmatic about it, that isn't going to help in transcending them. So it's a fine line between the acceptance and the not obsessing about them. You know? That brings about um, a possibility of mutation. And so there is a serious call for confidence obviously you know, that okay they're there but they're not necessarily going to be there forever so that's been interesting for me it's been interesting to see that shift and that presence of the 60th gate is going to be there till the end of january next year and so pluto is still going to go down to the fifth gate fifth line fourth line and 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 we'll see you know, how it brings us deeper inside so an interesting shift. Another thing that I wanted to share with you because I really notice more than anything else in the neutrino weather, I always notice the nodes. And so I don't know how that is for you guys, obviously, but the 21st gate, uh, I find it an interesting gate because there is so much out there that says like, well, it's a gate about control, okay? There is obviously a capacity in the 21st gate to stand up for our resources. So it's as if I, you know, not anybody can just touch my body, for example. This is my resource. Hey, I'm in control of this resource. And I'm doing that basically just standing up for myself, so to speak. The interesting thing is when we see the controlling mechanism being at service of who we think we are, of our self-concept, and then there is all kinds of distortions that start taking place. We start playing a controlling game, you know, where some are winners and others are losers and that whole thing. So it's obviously something to be aware of. You know? It's like don't fall into that trap with the nodes being there on that gate of control. It's saying here in the fifth line, and all those gate, all those lines of the twenty-first gate are beautiful lines. You know, all of it is like, oh wow, this is how it works. And here it's saying like, okay, let's let's be practical. Let's not be emotionally motivated in standing up for the protection of our own resource, which in the main, like on, on the main, for the main part, it's our body. Hmm? And let's learn to be impartial about it. Let's learn to look at it objectively. So that's definitely something that I'm noticing in my life and where I'm like, hey, heads up. 
Another thing that I'm also noticing, and I'm, I'm, you know, this is just a reflection on it. 22nd gate, Saturn is there. And Saturn, there's connotations with discipline and a certain sense of severity. And sometimes even they talk about punishment in, in Saturn. And actually, for those who are interested to, to subscribe this week, we're going to have a look at the design of Clint Eastwood. And because one of the first astrologers that I ever met said, like, he's a very Saturnian character. And so let's have a look where he has Saturn and how that goes for him. But I've noticed a certain uncomfortableness, the Saturnian flavors, I've noticed them in having to talk about certain things that aren't necessarily pleasant to talk about, breaking the silence over certain issues that need to be talked about in order for, in, basically in order to counter stagnation, especially in relation and connection with somebody else. You know? So interesting to note, to take note of that. Now, don't be afraid <laughs> to um, address certain things. Saturn is in the 22nd gate. So however that plays out for you guys is something to take into account. And then finally, one of the, the last things that I, when, when observing the weather, and obviously it's moving, you know, it's moving throughout the week, but the, the main tendencies that are there and that I'm seeing like, okay, this applies, okay, I can see it in my life. Also see the movement of Jupiter to the 20th gate. It's bringing about the possibility for contemplation and dedication to higher principles in my case. You know, this 10th gate over there is a possibility of looking at myself with a certain sense of of compassion and self-acceptance and to take moments for that yeah lovingly observing the expression of how life expresses through me and and how it constructed my defenses and at the same time um how it sits or how it allows me also to look at my essence. So definitely, for some reason or another, Jupiter went into the 20th gate and meditation is, or at least certain meditation techniques are all of a sudden pretty present in my life during these days. So I would say take advantage of Jupiter in a gate of contemplation. Okay, this is what I had for you guys this week. I hope you have your own journey with the weather and learn and try to stay, um, yeah, like um, in line with your own essence and to take advantage of the weather instead of the other way around. Okay, thank you very much and see you next week. Bye. Hello, dear subscribers, and this week I have for you Clint Eastwood 